okay let's continue where we left off um, I'm going to delete this uh, penguin uh, making sound and uh, coach I have kind of played with that and I added the sound any sound is fine or if you don't have sound that's fine too not a big deal so you have the statements so now the um, question is yes it's nice to have a sequence of statement but we want them to do more exercise right they can disagree on how to do exercise but uh, both of them look like they can use some exercise right so we want them to repeat again and again so uh, we have some structures here loop is a good one because we want them to repeat again and again so you can see when you take this and it kind of shows red and then again it shows green so green is where it's going to insert see anytime oh, we go outside valid area it becomes a uh, red so right there let's say we want them to do 10 times so you want to, to do this exercise 10 times but within the body we don't have anything well drag it here just press in this uh, that uh, dotted area and just keep moving those lines inside let's see so now we have a sequence of lines inside the loop okay so again good thing about Alice is that anytime it's ready to run let's go ahead run it So you can see it's kind of a funny action going on. Hopefully you can hear the uh, sounds. So that is uh, one interesting exercise, isn't it? and uh, he can really make moves with hands and okay so that's kind of funny let's see if we start here so it's going forward and it says no and goes backwards you know we can even make this uh, this guy uh, wings also to flip a little bit let's see here uh, penguin uh, right wing left wing left wing is easy to work with let's see just to make this bigger so that we can see what's going on left wing turn turn left see it's turning we don't want turning rather we want it to open up so usually when the turn doesn't work usually roll will work okay other way around roll right roll right will work there you go okay so we want to roll right left wing roll right so hopefully right wing roll left so left wing roll I'm just going to do undo and uh, bring it to back to the coding area so left wing and uh, after head movements ah okay let's go down here so penguin left left wing roll roll right I believe and make a copy of this and if you can make a copy you can change it here penguin it's probably very hard to see penguin right wing you can copy and uh, paste on existing one and right wing left let's see how it looks very good so the wings are also moving now okay okay so this case are doing this strange exercise so the what they are really doing is sequence of steps they are repeating again and again 
so in the earlier program all we had was sequence of steps you just run through once okay so with this loop structure we are able to run through uh, sequence of steps again and again which uh, which is makes the program very powerful and uh, we are able to use the same lines of code again and again okay um, so you can make this uh, this guys could use some more exercise you can even just put infinity play again so they are doing it so one more control I'm going to show you the speed here see you can increase the speed you can go very, very fast too as you can see Penguin, I think we said 0 .0, 0 0.5 zero five revolution. So it's a penguin is going a little bit slowly. You can see. So that's a one fast-paced exercise. Okay. So again, all we did was introduce a loop to summarize just I dragged this loop inside and uh, and put it in the top and I dragged all the lines all the lines in the same sequence in to be a, a part of the loop body okay so then these all these statements keep executing until uh, basically as per their loop rules okay so you can specify any number you know so there are few numbers are there and also you can change uh, you can put some other number too okay so um, okay so that's a kind of brief introduction about loops okay thank you